what if I told you that you can get a decent DE1 Pro for a quarter of the price? This is the CAF Machino 1, and it looks a little bit like an ECM Casa V had a baby with the decent espresso machine. You've got your tablet on top, you've got a Bluetooth connected scale, and a whole library of different and interesting shots to make. I've got this here because Jorge from CAF Machino messaged me and asked me if I would like to play with one and give them some feedback, and maybe make a video about it. We came to an agreement where they are paying me, so to avoid any perception of being biased, I said that I will not do a review, but I would like to show you some of the features this machine has. Because I think a lot of people want something like the Decent, but they feel that the price, which has been steadily increasing since the first version, is a little bit too high for a lot of coffee enthusiasts. So I'll show you what this machine can do, pull a few shots, and try out some of these fun recipes that will make very different tasting shots than your standard 9 bar espresso. This is a pretty small machine, it feels so tiny compared to the Nuri lever I had on my bar for the last review I did on this channel. This has some aluminium parts and some plastic so it's not all that heavy, and the reservoir is see-through so you can see how much water is in there before you start the machine. All the buttons and dials on the front feel soft and rubbery, there's a rubber coating on the steam wand, and when you open up the steam dial, it locks to full very very quickly, which is a nice touch. Okay. Let's continue. As you can see, this is a thermoblock. It does take a little bit of time to start up, and you might want to vent a little bit of the water into a jug or into a cloth before you start it on full. It's definitely not as powerful as some of the dual boilers I've been using recently, but I have been able to get some pretty decent latte art with it. Here with the app opened up, it all connects really easily and also connects to the Bluetooth scale so you have control by weight as well. So I'm just going to go onto here and check all of my recipes. So I've got a lot of these different community recipes here. There's a default CP which uh, looks like a sort of um, a little bit of a pre infusion, a steady rise to sort of nine bar and then a slow decline. Um, there's adaptive CP which um, looks like a high flow rate. The blue line is the flow rate and the green line is the pressure, so it's going to push the pressure up at around 35 seconds. That's a very interesting looking one, I don't know what that one's for. Over here we've got the Blooming Espresso CP, so it starts off with a slow flow rate of around 4 millimeters, uh, milliliters per second, and then it drops to zero for around 30 seconds, and then once you've got the saturated puck in there, um, you'll have a lot more extracted espresso, so you won't end up with as much of that sourness which comes from under extraction because of the density of a light roast espresso. You can also check your dose ratio as well, so I always put my dose ratio in here. Um, because it's a light roast espresso, I'm going to go to 96 degrees, and it's going to be a 1 to 2 ratio. If I do edit profile, it'll send the recipe, and then once it's sent the recipe, then the recipe is stored on the machine, and I'll just press start. And that is an easy blooming espresso. Wow, it's really bright. It's very, very bright, very fruity. Oh, it tastes fantastic. That's really, really good. I'm gonna drink this. I'll be back in a little bit. Now, there are a lot of other options here, like pulling turbo shots, which is based on a lower pressure, but a higher speed shot that's supposed to get as good of an extraction with a little less texture, and a lever profile which replicates the declining pressure you'd get from a machine with a spring. 
Now, I'm the kind of person who wants to experiment, which, to be honest, is the reason you would get a machine with this much control of the variables. So right in the app itself, you can make your own profile. I'm gonna try building my own profile for a slightly darker roast. Darker roasts tend to have a little less density through the roasting process, so you'll usually find that you need to grind a little bit differently to get the same shot timings, and this is all gonna depend on how the coffee solids are extracted. A blooming shot might be good for light roasts because it saturates the coffee puck with water first, giving it some time to pull some of that tasty coffee goodness out of the beans before increasing the flow to make more tasty coffee goodness. But with a dark roast, this would make it taste really bitter because it would extract too much. So what I'm gonna try and do is skip the pre-infusion, go straight to a high pressure extraction at around nine or 10 bars, let's say for around 12 grams of espresso, and then slow it down to avoid over extraction and get as much flavor from those beans as possible. So I'm in the advanced recipe, I'm gonna start a new recipe and click advanced. So this allows you to put as many steps as you want in there. I haven't tried any more than five, but I don't think you'd need more than five. And so you've got your first step here, which we are going to name pressure. So the first step, I'm gonna do uh, the step weight will be 12 grams. The duration can be maybe, let's say 20 seconds, something maybe like that, maybe less than that, maybe 15 seconds. So that's gonna be the first step. Um, you can set your targets as different pressures, different flow rates, um, if I set um, a step target of flow rate for like, let's say four milliliters per second. That's gonna show how much um, it's gonna do and I can make that progressive. So it's going to increase to that point rather than just being static at that point. Um, I, I actually don't want it to be progressive. I'm gonna make that a standard one. Then you can limit, you can uh, limit your flow rate or limit your pressure. So if I want to limit the pressure over here, I might stick it to let's say nine bars so that I can keep the pressure on at the beginning. Um, so now I'm gonna add another step. Next step, um, this one I'm gonna have as the main infusion. So I want that step weight to be 24 grams. So let's move that up to here. And that, uh, that 24 grams, that'll stop the shot. And then, yeah, basically stop at, and then stop at weight will be 36. And you can make it, you can make it stop at whatever you want, 250 grams if you want. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop at 30. 35, 36. I'm gonna have my limit on there and I'm going to limit this one instead of uh, the, so this is the flow rate. I'm gonna limit the flow rate to um, let's say three milliliters per second and the target pressure, I wanna be six bars. These are all gonna be adjusting in the middle of the shot and you'll see this once the shot goes through. So I'm gonna set the duration of this one and this one I'm gonna set the duration higher than I would actually do it because it's gonna stop at the weight anyway. So I'll set that for 40 seconds. So um, as you can see, I've got a, a flow rate a pressure rate, and um, it's just gonna try and meet those bars as they come along. So I'm gonna save this one. Second step, I'm just gonna quickly change to, um, let's just call it flow. Pressure and flow. It's gonna be my, the name of my, uh, my band. Um, and this one's gonna be called um, Dark Roast Charlie. And let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna get, gonna save that up there. Send that to the machine. So sending the machine to the profile, and then you can see in the current recipe, it's in the current recipe profile there. Let's pull a shot with this one and see how it goes. Wow, that is very strong. Now, I wouldn't drink this as an espresso. What I would like to do is put it into a cortado. So something like that. I think it would be very sweet. That takes about 50 seconds. And uh, this is my secret trick that I learned from Emily Bryant. Pour it from a really high height and you'll get a much nicer microphone.
I hope you liked this overview and thank you so much to Caff Machino for sponsoring this video. I don't get paid anything if you buy a one, one, one for me. I'm just showing you what it can do and you can make your mind up if it's something that you're interested in. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments and if there are any experiments you would like me to run on it and I'll post the results in a short or in my Instagram reel or something. And in the end, I think the goal of this machine is to bring down the price of the level of control that you get from the decent machines, which is a good thing. Of course, there are gonna be some differences between the two and it doesn't come with that suitcase that you can take with you on holiday, but I don't know if that many people were doing that anyway. Cool, thanks for watching to the end, you wonderfully over-caffeinated people, and I'll see you on the next one.